Hello, I'm Liam Carr and today I'm going to explain what is the point of glycolysis. Well, glycolysis happens in the cytoplasm of all respiring cells and it is the splitting up of glucose into two pyruvate molecules. But before we do that, we have to phosphorylate glucose to make it a bit unstable. And when we add phosphate to glucose, it becomes something called hexose 1,6 bisphosphate. And that's because it's got a phosphate group on the carbon 1 and on the carbon 6. And those phosphate groups come from a molecule called adenosine triphosphate or as we know it ATP and that is the first phase of glycolysis and that molecule splits into two molecules of triose phosphate so everything that happens after this happens twice We'll just have a look at the numbers of carbons involved here. Glucose, as some of you will probably know, is a six carbon molecule. Hexose, one six biphosphate, well that's still six carbons, it's a hexose sugar. But triose phosphate, that's a three carbon molecule. So you can see a six carbon molecule becomes a three carbon molecule. So we've put some ATP in to get our glycolysis started. The next thing that happens is a, is a couple of stages. That triose phosphate gets turned into something called glycerate 3-phosphate. But we're not finished yet. And the glycerate 3-phosphate, that gets turned into something called pyruvate. And I've got to write it out twice because there are two molecules of pyruvate. And they, all of the molecules here, are all three carbon molecules. And pyruvate is the useful product of glycolysis, but it's not the only useful product of glycolysis. Because although we had to put some ATP in at the start, we're going to get some out in this bottom phase, and we get out one, two, three, four molecules of ATP. And you don't have to be particularly good at maths to be able to know that that is a net gain of 2 ATP because we put 2 ATP in at the start to get our bisphosphate molecule and we get 4 ATP out in this second phase. And you might think we're finished but we're not because there is another useful product that we get out. The final useful product that we get out of glycolysis is something called NADH or reduced NAD and this is a hydrogen carrier with hydrogen attached and we're going to use that in the final stage of cellular respiration which is ATP synthesis and electron transport but more about that later. That's glycolysis Quick summary, starts off with glucose, finishes with two pyruvate molecules which are going to go into the next stage and you've got a net gain of two ATP and two NADH. Thanks for watching.